cars all the time, car search engine, and I am G, your host. And I am Kelly, your co-host. And we are here in Costa Rica. Rica baby. Yes, and we're having a blast here. As you see, we're a casual right here. Casual. It is because, so hot. I mean, look at the beach here. Look at the beach. Beautiful beach. Beautiful. Yeah, exactly. It's gorgeous. Yep. And um, we're going to be out there in just a few minutes ourselves. <laughs> and we have a car, a super hot car today. What car do we have? A 1970s Superbird. Ooh, wow. Now, the Superbird was highly modified version of the well known graphics and form. It was factory's follow-up stock car racing design for the 1970 season. The car's primary rival was the Fords, which in itself was a direct response. Shoot, I gotta, this is sketchy right here. Okay, the 1970 NASCAR race production requirement from 500 examples to one for every two man in the United States. In the case of Plymouth, that mean, ha, meant having to build 1,000 920 Superbirds. Superbirds had three engine options. Three options. Three options. 426 cubic inches with 425 horsepower with 450 cubic inches with three with three three barrel carbs. No, nope, no. Nope. You said with three three barrel. We're, we're, still, we're still recording. We're still recording, go. Okay, 400 and, 440 cubic inches with three two barrel carbs producing 390 horsepower, 460 with 375 horsepower. With all those engines available, you got your pick. And you had, uh, so it depends on how much money you had at that time, which wasn't a whole lot of money between each car. Chrysler memos of September 1969 show that the sales programming staff was preparing to handle 1,920 winged Plymouths for 1970, but published figures say as many as 2,783 were built. The current figure generally accepted is 1,935. Both the numbers are flying everywhere, how many were built. Wow. You know, so, um, Superbirds built and shipped to the United States dealers with anywhere from 34 to 47 allegedly heading towards Canada. The engine option question is again a sticky one, although most frequently seen numbers report 135 426 cubic inch Hemis Superbirds and 716 440 cubic inch six pack editions with the remainder powered by 440 cubic inch four barrel motors. It is believed that over 1,000 Plymouth Superbirds exist today. Wow. And down here in Costa Rica, they have no Superbirds down there. No, they don't. Zero, none, none whatsoever. And, and we just don't happen to have one to drive, do we? No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, you know what? This is our show for today. See ya. See ya. Good. <laughs>